What's up my YouTube base? Welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. If not, welcome to the experience. Today, I'm going to be investigating this faucet here that's been leaking all of a sudden. I've had it for around 10 years or so, and all of a sudden underneath, it's actually starting to leak. I go up on the knees. You can see where the water has been slowly leaking and running down the water line. I've been using this little container to collect and empty the water over time. So a few days ago, I actually emailed Dan support email describing my issue uh, along with a picture of the leak and basically I was looking for a recommendation for and a fix. They actually responded. They actually told me all I had to do was uninstall the old unit, take it to the store that I purchased it. Once I'm there, give them the SR number, which they gave me. And then once they confirm that it's a valid number, the store will actually help me pick out a brand new unit. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna actually uninstall this old unit and take it back to the store which I bought it. Here we go. So, and essentially the water is off. Okay, so now I can start the, uh, to the uninstall. Once that's loose, essentially I can maneuver this. I'm going to take this off to help me get the funnel attachment part of the hose. Right now it's stuck. That loops when I release the uh, hose and hopefully that will allow me to freely turn the uh, drain hose and get it free. So let me just take this off.
that said, this will allow me to pull the hose. Pull it down. Oh, a waste of. Wow. Okay, so now this will allow me to do the final turn to get that connected piece off. And voila. So now that'll just allow me to remove that last that bolt that's connected to the final piece. So I can bring the clamp all the way down and basically pull the ceiling out. So basically I use this to take it off the rest of the way. Deep 50 millimeter uh, ratchet. Well, got more than a surprise, got more than I bargained for actually. When I was taking it off, the nut got so tight that basically it took off the connection um, to the pipe that's underneath. So with that out of the way, it's just easy as pie to lift it out. Yep, there you go. So the unit is up. So I'm gonna make my way to my Canadian Tire and uh, see what they'll say next. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button and hit notification for future videos. So I'm back from the store. I just got this new unit from the store I originally purchased it from, Canadian Tire. Basically showed the, the actual email and printed a copy of it from Dan's and they were able to allow me to exchange the old unit for this brand new one at no additional cost. So I really appreciate that. Uh, it's going to go a long way in uh, installing this uh, new unit um, in the actual sink that the old one came from. So I'm going to actually do an unboxing now and, uh, and install this bad boy. Um, yeah, so here I go. it upside down. Okay, what do we got? Instructions in terms of how to put it together. Okay. Lifetime warranty, gonna need that. Got some labels for the tag for the actual pipes themselves. Let's cut the plate. Okay. Probably won't be using this in this install. And here we go with the full mount. We got the weight and the assembly unit. And then we have for the key. We got Allen key and we got uh, the adapter. Okay. And the actual spin unit itself. That's it. That was easy. We'll spend some time on these instructions. Okay, and you know what I always say. Open up your package, organize your parts, clear your work area, read those instructions so you know what you got yourself into. And with that, let's go.
ones are labeled. So the hot water is telling me where to place the weight on, on the spray hose. This is the spray hose. This is the spray hose, basically. It's telling me where to put the actual weight. Cool. To get that and connect it to this.
Okay, my YouTube base, I'm done with the install of this new faucet, and it was certainly a lot easier compared to the old model. They have certainly improved the install process of these faucets over the years. You saw some of the struggles I had taking out the old model, and the ease and simplicity of putting in the new one. The install process should take less than 30 minutes. There's virtually no tight under the sink work compared to the old unit. The soft copper water lines are gone, the pre-installed flexible water lines is all you may need. This new cut mount quick dot bracket system for the faucets rock. I'd recommend that you include this install method in your next purchase. This new stainless steel model should last me for many years. I want to thank the customer service care team at Dance for their support in helping me get rid of this old headache and replacing it it with a new unit. I also want to thank the customer service rep for the entire for exchanging the old unit without much of a hassle. Lessons learned from this experience is one, take a picture of your bill, two, record your model number, three, have your lifetime warranty registered for your unit. If you have a problem with your unit or you need a replacement part, all you need to do is call them up and they will take care of you. Hopefully you've learned a thing or two from watching this video and are expired. If I can do it, you can do it too. And with that, I'll see you on our next project. If you thought this video was helpful, help a brother out. Give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, hit notification, and I'll see you on our next project.